suman. It's a delicious dessert using sweet rice and coconut milk with brown sugar. You want to make sure the packaging of your rice does have sweet rice on it because it's different from the short grain or medium grain sticky rice we normally use for meals. You can see here it's very short granules and almost white compared to the rice we use for our meals which is a little more transparent and even the short grains are slightly longer. In the pot I have one can of coconut milk that I've whisked. Most brands of coconut milk in the can the solid or the fatty part separates from the liquid or the water component. In that case, you want to go ahead and whisk it all together until you have a homogenous mixture. I'm going to add a half pound or half of a one pound box of dark brown sugar. And then we'll whisk this together. We're going to heat this mixture until all of the sugar has dissolved and thickens slightly. So that was my oven timer telling me it's preheated. You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And my rice I've already cooked in the rice cooker. I've been heating this sauce just under 10 minutes between medium and medium low. It's not going to get super, super thick, but as you're stirring the coconut milk and brown sugar mixture, you'll be able to feel that it is getting thick. So this is done, and I'm going to take away a half cup of this mixture and mix the remaining into the hot sweet rice. You can see here how sticky this is. It's more sticky than the rice we eat at our meals. So this is two cups of the sweet rice and you use the same measuring cup that you measured the rice to measure the water. So two cups of rice into your rice pot rinse it and drain it once, add two cups using the same measuring cup of water, and then cook it according to your manufacturer's directions on your rice cooker. Here's our sauce, less a half cup. My oven again is preheated to 350, and I have an 8x8 dish that I've sprayed with nonstick spray. Oh, this is so delicious. I mean, rice, coconut milk, yummy. At least on Guam, many of our meals are focused on white rice, and we use coconut in almost everything, whether it's the coconut milk or the freshly grated coconut. Okay, stir this until it's all good and combined. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in rice pot wasn't as hot as I thought it was. Oh god, that's so good. <laughs> Even just a couple of finger dips into the coconut milk brown sugar sauce. So good. Alright, then we're just gonna spread it out. My friend Nancy, this is actually her recipe, she's Filipina, and traditionally her family uses banana leaves, but because we didn't always have banana leaves, both uh, her husband and my husband were stationed in Germany in the army. Uh, since we didn't have access to banana leaves at the commissary, we just cook it without the banana leaves or she did and served it to us. Pour this sauce over the top. Spread it out a little. 
little bit. The banana leaves gives the Sumana great aroma. Okay, enough playing. This goes into the oven, 350 degrees, about 45 minutes. The Suman just came out of the oven a few minutes ago, and we're supposed to let this cool completely, but I'm going to go ahead and cut into it. It smells so good. Maybe I'll just cut a little corner instead of... Yeah, it's not quite set. It's too soft to cut into, but oh well. Ooh, yummy. Okay. Mmm, look at that. It's piping hot. Nice and brown from the brown sugar. See the sauce on top is going to be the best part because a lot of the sauce collected in the corner. Too hot to eat right now. 